this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Season 2 of Story Mode. We are playing through the, the first episode now, and we are exploring Beacon Town, which is the, the brand new city, I'd to call it a city rather than a town, where uh, myself, a lot of adventurers, uh, literally myself in terms of Stampy Cat, it's weird because I always talk about myself in terms of Jesse, but then <laughs> I guess there's Stampy Cat uh, as well in this, uh, and then a bunch of other people have all moved to, together to, to form a new spectacular town, and I'm just exploring it, there's just a bunch of stuff that I can do at all. I can get some sugar cane, apparently. Oh, I, I have a bit of an idea nice. where this this might come in useful later on, maybe to uh, craft or bake something, not to, to give anything away. So I do need to go and meet Petra at the mine in a, a little while. Uh, but first, I'm going to carry on just exploring the, the town, chatting to, to people, uh, including myself and Stacy again in a, a little bit. But what's going on here? Hey, look who it is! Jesse, hey! Hey guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for founding day that I guarantee you is gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh. Wanna give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you Bob? That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? Right then, looks like we have a, a decision to make. I'm just doing everything around here. So stone, wood, or pink wool. I mean, it's got to be pink wool, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know why it's specifically out of just these three materials. Maybe they're just that's just what they had lying around. I don't trust this guy, though, because he doesn't have a nose. And Or maybe he does, but you can't see it very well. Anyway, I'm going to go for the, the pink wall, I think. Let's get to it. So what is it? Like, slime diving? You just dive off a thing and then just land on the slime? Sounds pretty fun, to be, also, uh, nice. to be honest. Turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime! It'll be great! Alright, okay, I can belly flop, swan dive, or double twist. Let's go for a, a good old-fashioned belly flop then, shall we? <laughs> Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive! Thank you for that, thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work. Like, I just want to spend my whole time here. Everyone just loves me so much. Wouldn't, you, wouldn't it be great if just real life was like this? Imagine just walking into town and everyone's just like, oh, I don't know what hat to wear. Please pick my hat. And you say, wear the red hat. And they go, oh, you're the best person in the world. I would never thought to wear the red hat. You're incredible. I'd feel so good if everyone spoke to me like this in the, the real world. Anyway, I will get to, to me and Stacey in a second, but let's uh, find out what's going on here first. Let's speak to, to Citizen. Citizen. Oh, <laughs> Jesse. Wow. Hi. Huh. Uh, just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, uh, fit. Is it putting the right energy? The giant burger hot air balloon, you mean? Uh, it's perfect. Uh, it could use more wool. Oh, that is Beacon Town. Uh, could maybe use a bit more wool, I guess. Oh, more wool, of course. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Stupid. Now, just to get back up there. Huh? Uh, okay then, we'll just leave you to it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. Maybe I should have said it was perfect. <laughs> I just wanted to see him change it. I thought he was going to go up and just change it straight away. Anyway, let's go and find out what's uh, happening with uh, with Stacy and me, and of course Wink as well. Telling you, Stampy, it needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone well, likes cake. it's not really a decision, is it, to be honest? <laughs> loved food? I think not. Well, I'm all about cake, and personally, I love that stuff. Ha-ha! Yes, exactly my stance. You don't need to rub it in. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. Okay, so I have a choice. I could either make a cake, I could either make pumpkin pie, or I could make both. 
And uh, I guess the, the best place to find the eggs is the, the giant flock of chickens here. And oh yeah, my house! I didn't even look at my house! So, as you can see, it's based on the, the house in my lovely world. Uh, I was able to, to help design it. I basically sent a bunch of pictures from my house and kind of said things that I thought would be cool. And then they came up with uh, with this thing. So you can see that's basically, basically Fizzy's tower there. And then I wonder if I can actually go to the bedroom at all, if you can look in. But it's uh, pretty much based on my bedroom as well. But let's, uh, let's go grab the eggs first. Hey, an egg. Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Can I can I go in? Oh, I can't go in. I can go so close, but I can't go in. But even like the the paths are like based on the paths around my lovely world. And we of course have an homage to my love garden here in Beacon Town. I wonder what Jesse's gonna say when he looks at it. Huh? What a lovely garden. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, little Easter egg there. <laughs> oh, sorry, I know I'm getting all giddy and excited again, but I can't help it. Right then, do I have everything I need to to make the cake and the pumpkin pie? So remember the, the sugar cane that I grabbed earlier? I'm pretty sure that that's what it was for. So, all right then, let's go and uh, start doing some crafting then. So uh, let's put in the, the sugar cane first, just to make it into to sugar. And there we go, let's go and create that. I do like the, the way you craft in story mode, the way it all kind of gets merged together. So let's start off by just making the, the cake, because that's priority number one. And this is where I embarrass myself and end up making cake wrong. I'm pretty sure I know how to make a cake. I never normally need to ar arrange the ingredients, though. Normally on console, I just say, I want cake, and then cake appears. So, <laughs> oh, no, I need, um, oh, no, I have everything. Uh, egg in the, the middle. I think I need more wheat, don't I, in order to make the, um, the pumpkin pie. Isn't it like an egg, wheat... And then a pumpkin, or is it? Actually, no. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's sugar, and then an egg, and then a pumpkin. Maybe that's how you make pumpkin pie. Yeah, I don't know how to make pumpkin pie as much as I know how to make cake. I don't do it as uh, as regularly. Do I just put them in anywhere, or do I need to arrange them in a certain way? Isn't it like? Is it like this or something? I don't even know how to make pumpkin pie. That's bad, isn't it? Isn't it bad how I don't know? Oh, here we go. I can show thee the recipes. Okay, pumpkin, sugar, egg. I mean, it is a very weird, specific way to make pumpkin pie. Like, <laughs> I mean, there's not even a mixing goal. I'm just placing them on a table and somehow it's made. But there we go. That will be a pleasant surprise to, to Stacy and me. And if you play the game yourself, maybe do it differently. Maybe just make cake. Maybe just make pumpkin pie. Because we do say different things depending uh, on what you give us. But I am going to be a good Jesse. I'm going to make both Stacy and me happy. And I'm going to give both. He said cake. She said pie. And I said... Why don't we just have both? Oh, well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? I eh, found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be posters. Cake and pie. <laughs> I mean, I only made one of each, though. I don't know where all the others came from. <laughs> See my little laugh in the background. <laughs> I didn't even laugh, like, specifically for this scene. I didn't even know that was going to happen. They must have just took my laugh from somewhere. <laughs> Bye! And, of course, we need the, the Stampy say goodbye. Oh, look at the posters! Oh, I really, on my next play I, play for it, I really want to try doing just cake or just pumpkin pie. Like, would there be just one of us cheering and the other one just really sad there as well, just because they didn't get their choice? Anyway, looks like there's uh, some more things for us to play around with over on this what side as well. This for? <laughs> Please let me do it again. Please let me go do Oh, yes, let me do it again. Oh, let me just keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Let's just keep going. I, I wonder if something happens eventually. I wonder if Jesse just like outright refuses. Like, I wonder if we can ever get to that point where he's like, you know what, player? I am not listening to what you have to say. Sorry, I might be here for a while, guys. Like, maybe skip ahead in the video. Maybe two, three, four, that's maybe five rushing, minutes. But, uh, should we, um, well, uh, go? Maybe? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh no, please let me do it again. No! It won't let me do it again. Why did you take away my fun? I'm just gonna have to spin in a circle instead for fun and make myself dizzy. <laughs> right, is there anything else over here? Because last time I walked down here, I was kind of looking at the the whole other side of the street. Okay, looks like we're we're back to, to where we were. I just don't want to miss anything in Beacon Town. I'm loving this stuff. I know that. 
I know that just around the corner, there's like a big epic adventure for me. Like I know that something's going to happen. I even have an idea of what is going to happen. You might do as well. Dramatic things are coming, but I just love all the silly stuff playing around in Beacon Town. And right now everything's good. Everything's happy. No one's in danger. We're just having fun. I'm getting hit in the face with a piston. It's all it's all just nice right now, but it looks like I have explored everything that there is to explore. So uh, let's go and uh, meet Petra then, shall we? And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh no, thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Being hit in the face again and again with a piston. Very inspiring. I'll uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Right then, let's go and meet up with uh, with Petra then. It's been a while. It's so nice just getting to, to meet all these characters again. Well, not meet them, but just spend time with them again. It's been a long time since I spent time with all of these Petra? people. Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra, where are you? Is she gonna make me jump? Oh, oh the zombies. Zombie. All right, now we're getting into the, the game proper, I guess. Oh, I missed this. <coughs> oh, smell not so much. All right then, let's take out some zombies. Oh, look at this. I can actually kind of move around a little bit more. So it looks like, what's the what's the lightning? Oh, is that like my, my stamina, I guess? So it seems like when I roll, it goes down a little bit as well. And then when I swing the, the sword. Okay, looks like they've kind of completely changed the way you do the, the combat in this game. I guess you need to be careful, because if you just go crazy and swing all over the place, you're going to get tired. Oh, hey. Hey, I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. I really do miss this. You know, us adventuring together, facing the unknown. I wish we could do this more often. Except I'm going to have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor. What is that? Iron? I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Ready for more? Right, looks like no time to talk. We have some uh, some more zombies to, to deal with by the, the looks of things. This time we have some some help though from uh, from Petra. All right then, so yeah, that's how to dodge around. So it looks like I only want to swing my sword when I get in close. Like I haven't been hurt by any of them. Oh no, I think I have. I think I got one one heart gone. So there we go. Now it's talking about the the stamina. So I actually got to be a little bit more careful now because there's there's more zombies all over the place. Can I just kind of back off for a bit and get my stamina up? There we go. I should have enough now to to deal with these last two zombies. No problem whatsoever. Lost my step yet. Well, you sure showed me. Glad you finally made it. Sometimes I worry you don't even have time for me... your friends anymore. I mean, I get that you like your job and everything, but jeez. Hey, I'm here now, aren't I? I'll always make time for you. Yeah, I guess. But now that you mention it, can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three... Axel has boomtown duties, Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas... His writing, I figured. Man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Hey, don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? What was that? That's what I said. Come on, let's race. Wait, what? It's monster hunting time.
Okay, right, looks like, oh, we actually, we are actually racing. Okay, so I just need to, to not bang into anything, basically. <laughs> What's up? Whoa! No, 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 no! Oh, get the cake! Get the cake! Look, <laughs> just eating cake as I go. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, no, 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 no! I, I, went to, I went to jump over it. I was running into it. To, I thought it was going to let me jump over it. Okay, exploding TNT as well. Let's try and dodge over that if we can. And I think this is going to be where where we run into to the big bad, which is going to be throughout this episode. As I said, I do know a little bit about what's coming. It's just the, the fine details and kind of the way it all ends. I have no idea, uh, as either do you. <laughs> so you're really not going to tell me what we're chasing? Nope. Mystery is what makes it fun. Come on. I think I know what it was. I don't think it is a googly. I think it's a llama. I think we're chasing the llama. Maybe that's the llama that everyone's been talking about then. A lot of people have been saying that like, the llama's the new Reuben. And so I think that that maybe that's what we're we're chasing down now. But looks like we have uh, some googlies to, to deal with first then. Or just run away from. Looks like they're they're taking my normal strategy in Minecraft to to just run away from them rather than <laughs> rather than risk getting hurt. But oh no, not very really much you can do when there's a spider jumping down to land right on top of your face. Let's keep running as fast as we can if we can because yeah, this is a uh, there's a lot of spiders here. Maybe Beacon Town should uh, invest in some torches to to maybe put in the the mine. Wouldn't be the the worst idea in the the world because. Yeah, there's literally no torches down here. And I mean, the lava's lighting up the area a little bit. But if you don't want googlies, then maybe light up the area. Then again, I do have the feeling that Petra kind of just wants danger. And so maybe that's why. I feel like maybe Petra's just digging this mine just to build a dangerous assault course for her to, to run in. I know what she's talking about, though. It was fun wandering around Beacon Town. But I think if we did that the entire season, we would end up falling asleep eventually. I want proper adventure and action, just the, the way Petra does. And I do hope the, the whole team comes back to, together because Ivor and Harper, they're off somewhere. Like, everyone's kind of scattered at the the moment so uh, i do want the the whole group to, to kind of band back to, together but also to oh i'm gonna win the race i'm gonna win the race petra's fine there's two spiders petra's gonna be fine what <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but you ah. <laughs> she's fine I'm starting to think that maybe you're the rusty one here <laughs> i'll remember this next time you need help it's not like she was in proper danger. She can handle a couple of spiders. I want to win the race. She's going to end up winning it anyway, isn't she? Is she going to go? Oh. Oh, whoa. What? Oh, I failed? I, I didn't fail the button prompt. I thought that was just the way it was happening. <laughs> I guess that's karma. That's what I get for not helping Petra. I end up falling in the lava. All right, let's do this the other way around then. Oh, no, okay. I thought I was going to be able to get to, to make the, the choice again. <laughs> yeah, Petra. Those mobs don't stand a chance. Thanks, friend. All right then, let's uh, let's pay attention a little bit more. I think I pressed the button, but I just didn't push it down hard enough or something. I'm sure I didn't end up missing it, but then again, there's no way I, I was I was a hundred percent sure that I pressed that right then. I mean, obviously I didn't. I fell in the lava. Obviously I didn't. Right, a hundred percent concentration this time. I mean, I'm only pressing. It. It's not even difficult. Let me just like spam the A button this time and make sure it works. You're the rusty one here. I'm just gonna alternate between, between saying those two things again and again, apparently. Right, okay. A, pressed it. Like, I'm gonna press it right next to the mic so you can hear it. A, I pressed it. A, I pressed it. A, I pressed it. Did you hear it? Okay, maybe I just messed up the uh, the first two times. <laughs> maybe I am a little bit rusty then. Maybe Petra was right. Can't even press the A button four times in a row, apparently. But, looks like we have arrived at where we were trying to arrive. And it looks like we might be about to meet a llama. You were so supposed to lose. Everybody knows I'm faster than you. You were awesome back there, Petra. Felt just like old times. Well, not exactly like old times, since I always used to win. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. <laughs> it's funny, because it was obviously a llama when we saw the, the silhouette wandering around. It's trying to make it... All dramatic. I don't know, maybe it's not. Maybe it's a llama and a monster or something, but I'm pretty sure it's an llama. I don't know the, the name of the, the llama yet, or even if it does get given a name. Maybe it's just llama. Mr. Llama. <laughs> but let's go and find out. What's with Jesse's walk? Why is he hopping around? Is that his, like, stealthy walk? He's just taking really tiny steps. And there it is! Llama? 
A llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <laughs> It's not a stupid llama. It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, a uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now. How about we get you out of here, huh? All right. Uh, hey there, llama. Okay, so I'm going to be annoying for doing this, but that is where I'm going to, to end episode two. But as I said in the last episode, I will be uploading these pretty regularly, so you won't have long to, to wait to see what happens if I'm able to catch the llama, what else is going to happen in the, the cave, what is the, the truth about whatever Petra is digging for. All of the, the other questions you may have will be answered soon, but that is the end here. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.